Good morning, friends. We are going to read Sid the Science Kid. The trouble with germs today. All right. The cover page says, "I can read." The trouble with germs. By Jennifer France. If it says by Jennifer France, it means that Jennifer France is the author. And what does the author do? The author writes the book. The author writes a book. Hi ho, the merry ho. The author writes the book. Sid said, "Dad, breakfast is." Ah ah ah! Choo! Bless you, Dad said. Sid. Bless who? Said Zeki. My dad is sick. Said Sid. He and my mom say that I have to wash my hands. If I don't want to catch Dad's cold, I want to know," said Sid. "Why do I have to keep washing my hands?" Sid was super hungry. What happens when you're hungry? You just want to eat, but Mom says, "Wash your hands first," said Mom. Sid says, "Why? You don't want to catch my cold germs." Said Dad. What happens if you catch cold germs? That's right, you get cold. You don't want to be sick. I don't see any germs," said Sid. "You're right," said Mom. "Germs are too small for us to see with our eyes." Look," said Mom. "These germs look bigger." They are under a very, very strong microscope. Cool," said Sid. "That one looks like a robot." At school, Sid met up with his friends. "Do you know what germs are?" said Sid. "Itty bitty things that make you sick," said May. "Do you think May's right?" "I think so too. Germs are tiny things that we can't see that makes us sick." Germs get on stuff and give you a cold and stuff," said Gerald. "Said Gerald, germs can make you sneeze," said Gabriella. "You guys know a lot about germs," said Sid. "Do you think they're all right?" "I think Sid's. I think Sid's friends know a little bit about germs." "Rug time," said Teacher Susie. Sid and his friends sat on the rug. Let's talk about germs," said Teacher Susie. Friends, can you share one thing that you know about germs? Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Well, Teacher Susie says we can't see germs. How many of you know that? Yeah, we can't see them. They're too small. But we can still pass them around. Pretend that Gerald is sick. Said Teacher Susie, he sneezes on his hands, achoo, and gets germs on them. Then Gerald passes germs to Sid because he touches Sid, and Sid passes them to May. Said Teacher Susie, it's like a big chain of germs. Said Sid. Always sneeze into a tissue. Said Teacher Susie, this helps stop germs from spreading around. Or you can sneeze into your arm like this. Achoo! Can you try that? Sneezing in your arm. Achoo! Teacher Susie pretended to sneeze. She covered her mouth with her sleeve. Let's go to the super fab lab," said Teacher Susie. "Time to learn why washing your hand is so important." Pretend the dirt is germs," said Teacher Susie. "Dip your hands in it." Cool," said Sid. "I love dirt." Now try wiping your hands off," said Teacher Susie. "They're still dirty," said May. "What do we need?" "We need soap and water," said Gabriella. "Right," said Teacher Susie. "It's the same with germs. You need to wash up to get them off." 
How many of you heard about washing your hands because of COVID-19? Yeah, we wash our hands to get the, rid of the germs. When Sid got home, he was super hungry. Sid, said mom, it's snack time. Huh? Chew. Thanks, said Sid, but I think I'll wash my hands first. And that's the end of Sid the Kid. Trouble with germs. How many of you like this story? I think this story was very helpful for us too. Remember, germs are tiny little things that we can't see, but they can make us sick. So when you sneeze or when you cough, sneeze or cough in your elbow or in your sleeve so you won't pass those germs around. I will meet you again soon with another fun activity. See you! Yeah. Mm -hmm.